Um, so yeah, let's let's continue. I have one more thing. Um, it is a content type that I have created. So um, let's have a look at that. Um, I put it here on that um, web page, and it's called. Um, uh, yeah, you will find the link in the description, of course. Um, I call it information wall, and I created it for my girlfriend actually, who's a teacher, and who uh, needed something like that on her web, or not her web page, but the school's web page. And um, or maybe we can have a look at that one. So um, there is the web page of. So you can have a live example of what it is doing. So it's German. Don't, German, don't be afraid. Um, for example, there are two instances and uh, where is it um, it is here so this is like the staff of the school so I think many schools have that and uh, it was re should it was for her it was pretty tedious to create because it was created in um, directly in WordPress and um, in a page and she had to when, when she received those images then she had to um, to rescale them because you can see this one for example it is uh, uh, in imported format. It's not square-ish and should always be square. So she had, to, she had to rescale it and to add some fancy background like this, like here. And uh, yeah, you know how that is in, in graphical HTML editor. Some things don't match up perfectly. And sometimes uh, you have a tab extra and then stuff like that. So it was kind of tedious. And she didn't ask me, but I saw that and said, okay, well, maybe I could create something in H5P for you. So... Um, so you could now, so let's say um, life world example. So uh, this is staff of that school. Let's say I was interested in all the sports teachers, for example. So I have that search field up here and I could type sport, which is sports in, uh, in English. And I would see, okay, it filters for all the teachers who um, teach sports. So actually that is what it is doing on that page. And in my demo example, I said, okay, uh, Let's let's have an H5P example. So um, I just listed um, H5P content. You see, it, it looks a little different because now um, the image is on top because it's pretty narrow. So um, it scales a little. So on the, on a mobile phone, it would look like that. Um, yeah, and again, let's in this case, let's say I would uh, wanted to look for all the content types that support video in some form. So uh, I'll stop. Uh, it's just four. It's not all of them didn't enter all of them, but let's say of these four, which of those support video? So I would type um, video and it would filter for that. So I would just see all that content that supports video. Um, yeah, how do could you create it for now and how would the editor look? So I will show that as well. Um, if you go on that page, again, link will be in the description. You can, of course, click on reuse and you can download um, that demo content as an H5P file. And I'll put it on my desktop. And if you have done that, you can go to your H5P um, instance, uh, like that one on, on WordPress that I have here. And uh, just to demonstrate, um, it is called Information Wall. And if I search for info, you see zero, zero hits. So it is not installed yet. So just you see, <laughs> I'm, I'm legit. Um, yeah, so you would click Add New Content. Oh yeah, of course, and those guys who are not the administ oh, I can close that one maybe. Um, if you're not the admin of that platform, you may not be allowed to upload um, content and you will get an error message, then uh, yeah, some admin will have to do that. But if you are, then you can click on upload and I'll upload the file that I just downloaded. I'll open it, I'll use it. And there it is, that is the editor inf information wall. So uh, what can you do with it? So first of all, you can um, yeah give it a title as always. Um, you can add a header if you want to, it's optional. In this case, it's called H5P content types, could be staff or uh, whatever you want to use it for. I don't know, periodic table uh, with all the elements, um, you could use that. So it, if you open it the first time, you should open that, I call it properties, I'm a developer. So I guess there's a better name if you know one, uh, feel free to, to um, create a pull request with a better translation or a better uh, phrase. So it's called properties. So if I expand that, now I can set all the properties that I want to have. So in this case, it is the name um, of the content type in that case that I want to have. I could define that. I can have some information, which I call info, uh, published, which is 
I think I used the date if it is published or no if it has not been published. And I can add tags. So, and, and you can add more. So, uh, let's say I needed some, uh, let's call it foo because it is the most favorite uh, name of a variable for developers. Uh, let's say we, we also wanted to have something which is called foo. And you'll see you use some other options. So, you can, can say, should that property label, in this case foo, be visible? In the front end, let's say yes, we want to see foo. And um, should it be search searchable? So uh, maybe you, it, it's just some information that should be there but should not be filtered for. And you can decide to exclude that. Um, yeah, but let's say we want to search for the foo property. And then some styling overrides. So um, you, you, you will see you, you can choose to use HTML, uh, not HTML, but um, all the, the, you have a field with all the styling options for the text so you can make it bold or whatever but let's say all the foo stuff should always be bold in and in italic then um, that is here so this is like kind of fits like a strange limited set of options but um, uh, I created that for my girlfriend and um, she wanted to have it that way so she got it that way so if you want to have something else please create a pull request so um, you would only do that the first time you, you create that content, of course. You don't have to define that all the time. So that is why it is hidden when you don't need it anymore. So now you'll see um, this is um, yeah the, the, the content that I've created before. And I have name and info and published and tags. And now I down here, I have also have foo because I added it um, in the upper part. So this is synchronized when you add something up here, uh, up in the properties, you will see it here. And if you remove something, it will be removed here as well. So now I have all the options that I wanted to have. Like say, this was AR scavenger. Um, let's say some info about AR scavenger. And, and again, I could change the, let's say this should be a little art. Uh, oh yeah, because it is uh, paragraph based. Let's say this should be, I don't know, 75 little percent little smaller whatever you want uh, so you can do that um, and we can have a look at that of course i can create it and uh, now we'll see i have foo with the label visible and some info about ar scavenger and uh, well yeah uh, let's say i look for about so it will filter only um, we'll check all the 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 uh, panels for about all the search searchable fields for about. And that is why I only get that one because only that one has about in it. Uh, yeah, we have some behavioral settings as well. Again, tailored to my girlfriend's needs. So don't expect anything um, too fancy. You can decide to use fallback, uh, um, a fallback for missing images. And I'll check that. And uh, now, of course, I should add some I should have prepared that. Let's see. Uh, I have all kinds of pictures here. Uh, let's say miscellaneous, and I have my test. Let's let's say this is my my fallback. So whenever I don't add an image to something, this should be displayed. And of course, I have give this one um, a good meaning. I can decide um, what the size of the images should be, and obviously, I chose 160 pixels by 120 pixels. Uh, I can decide to alternate the panel backgrounds and be white and gray and white and gray or darkened. And uh, I can offer, uh, choose to offer the filter field at the top or not. So if I just want to display information that should not be filterable, um, yeah, then I could uncheck that. Um, yeah, so just to see how that works. So um, I have added that fallback image for missing images. And uh, well, all, all of those have images. So let's just add a new panel. And I will not add an image here. So um, yeah, let's just call it test panel and don't enter anything else. So you've seen how that works. So I create uh, or update that content. And now down here, I have my, my test panel content. And uh, here I have my, uh, my fallback image because I didn't create one. So everything that doesn't have an image will have that one. And you don't see that here because it, it fits perfectly. But let now you've seen that uh, that effect here. So let's say I, I had uploaded like a portrait image, uh, which would be too narrow. Then it let's find one. Then in the, it would automatically add that that blurred, blurred background. So you don't have to, you, you don't have to worry about that. You just have to enter your content, and um, whoops, 
and, and then you're you're done. Yeah, so that is information wall. Um, I hope you'll find a use case for it if you want to use it. Um, again, I don't think I'll work on it much more. If there's a bug, I'll fix bugs. Um, but again, it was tailored to my girlfriend's needs. So um, if you think it's useful, use it. And if you don't, please create a pull request because um, I don't think I'll develop much on it further. Yeah, so, but that's the information wall. Have fun with it.